Little Cottonwood Canyon now back open. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph has been there for the past several days reporting on the clearing of the snow and mitigating avalanche dangers. He joins us live this evening. Spencer. Yeah, and we actually broke two records, one for the interlodger stay, uh, stay in place order for the town of Alta and two for the length of closure of Little Cottonwood Canyon. But no matter what, it was certainly a busy day here as crews prepared all day long for the reopening. Throughout the morning, UDOT crews were still hard at work getting Little Cottonwood Canyon ready. They just about got a hole punched through. And at the bottom of the canyon, the trade places. They also were getting ready. UPD guarded the entrance till around one when they let those up top come down. We're going to let downhill traffic come. Those that want to leave the resort can come. Those that have stuck, been stuck up there for the last three days are going to be allowed to come down. After everyone was down, prep started to bring essential workers up. One by one, they lined up. Then we're going to take uphill traffic and exchange fire and all of our people that are up there as well and uh, bring them down. And a long line of cars from the public waited anxiously. We've been here since Monday trying to get up to the top. This group had a reservation that they've had to wait on. We're just looking to get in our room to stay at this point <laughs> rather than get another hotel <laughs> downtown. And of course, there were those wanting to ski. With the canyon being closed for three straight days, I think there was some anticipation that it would get open today. But so before they knew it. Like let people through here in a second, so we'll see. Car after car was allowed up ending a record-breaking shutdown of Little Cottonwood Canyon. Today's the first day that it's uh, going to open. Hopefully we get up there. So the previous record stands at about 52 hours for both of those. In fact, I was the reporter, and my partner behind the camera, Eric Brown, was the photographer at the time last year when that happened. The new record for inner lodging sits at 59 hours and 45 minutes. The new record for the closure of the canyon is now 64 hours long. That's pretty incredible, and UDOT actually has conveyed their thanks to all the people and all of their patients for getting up there. Now, if you want to come up to Little Cottonwood Canyon, it's open to everybody. Live at Little Cottonwood Canyon, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News.